Welcome to the Third Wave Business Systems Advanced Productivity Pack Application Overview. My name is Dennis Tucker. I'm a technical manager at Third Wave, and I'll be providing you with some insight today into the variety of robust features in the Advanced Productivity Pack application that can benefit your organization by providing functionality not normally available in your SAP Business One environment. The Advanced Productivity Pack application allows you to distribute bulk documents and reports by faxing, emailing, printing, or a combination of these options during a single delivery process. It provides you with a robust email creation editor powered by Microsoft Word that can allow you to create HTML formatted vibrant communications integrated with Mail Merge that will also create an activity record in SAP on delivery to help you track your communications. APP provides you with the ability to create data delivery queries and to create interactive real-time charts and dashboards based on those queries. The APP Customizer Toolkit allows you to make customizations to both SAP screens and screens for add-ons created in the SAP user interface. It allows you to set up custom process rules definitions, to utilize macro recording of commands, to designate mandatory fields, and to set custom tab orders that meet your requirements. APP also provides a visual SQL editing tool to assist users in the creation of queries in an intuitive interface that even a novice query designer can use. Now we'll take a look at some things that you can do with the APP application. The macro recording introduces some amazing functionality, allowing you to record and reuse a process in SAP without writing any commands. Simply perform the actions to be taken in the system, and APP records and converts it into commands for you. For this demonstration, we will be using the Business Partner Master Data screen and a launch service call button. When the button is clicked, the actions that will be taken include opening a new service call screen, transferring the business partner card code to the new screen, transferring the federal tax ID field value to the subject of the new service call, and then opening an activity screen. To create that functionality, we'll right click on the button we'll use to execute the macro and we'll bring up that controls property and events screen. Click on the events tab. Select the define button on the line for the button click event which loads the event handler screen. Define a new procedure under the No Validation section in this case. Assign the new procedure a name. At this point, we could just load the macro editor and enter the commands manually through the Excel-like interface. But in this example, we're going to use the recording capability. Start the process by clicking the Record button. The first steps for my macro are to copy the business partner card code and the federal tax ID number for our new service call. In each case, I'm using the copy item function from the APP Customizer right-click menu. Use the SAP menus to launch the service call window. Now I'm ready to paste my copied fields onto the service call screen. To paste a copied field on the service call, right-click on the target field, select the APP Customizer menu option, then the paste item menu option for the value to be placed in the target field. Once these values have been pasted into place, I can click the activity tab and then the activity button to launch the activity screen. Now that my process is complete, click the stop button on the macro tab. And we can now click on our new button on the business partner screen to run our newly recorded macro. There you go. It's just that simple. It's very easy to create robust functionality in a matter of a few minutes without any in-depth programming knowledge. It's also easy to go into recorder procedures and adjust them through our macro editor. Now we'll look at APP's query display abilities. I'll load a B1 query into the SAP window. While the data loads, there are almost no analytical capabilities. Now let's take a look at how using an APP query can provide you with functionality to accomplish a lot more. I've used the same query, but configured it as an APP query. Loading the APP query shows you an entirely different interface with a variety of analytical options. In the query, it was specified that data would be grouped according to the customer group name, which is visually represented here. Each group also has summed up the number of orders per group and the orders total. 
Each group of data can be expanded or contracted by clicking on the up and down arrow at the left of the group header title. Let's see what other things you can functionally do with the data in the APP query interface that you cannot in the SAP B1 query interface. If you want to add another column to the data grouping, simply click and drag the column header to be added into the group by area above the column headers. The APP query interface also gives you the ability to filter data from the query result set without rewriting the query. Let's say that you only wanted to show open documents in your results. Click on the filter icon to the right of the column title and that will show you the filter screen for that column. It will list all available data values for specific filtering and also provide a variety of condition options. More advanced filtering can be done by combining multiple conditions. Users also have the ability to associate data visualizations through a variety of charts and graphs to help you analyze your data further. Data views and or charts can be combined in the APP application to form useful dashboards. You'll notice that the chart here refreshes every 10 seconds, a powerful feature that we bring to the table to ensure a view of real-time results. Next, we'll look at an example of a salesperson dashboard. The upper left frame is a list of salespeople in the system. The upper middle frame contains sales broken down by salesperson. The upper right frame contains sales broken down by country. The bottom three frames are set up with a dynamic relationship. When I click on a specific salesperson, you'll notice that the data in my three lower dynamic frames has changed to reflect the selection of the specific salesperson. This provides you with a dynamic, powerful tool that is built solely on existing SAP information and does not require you to learn new technologies like Excelsius. The document delivery example we'll look at is loading a sales order and delivering from a single marketing document screen. Click the email button here. I've set up the emails to be delivered into the drafts folder of Outlook. However, it can be set up to deliver directly through Outlook or SMTP email. Two draft emails were generated. The first is a sales order acknowledgement to the client. The email is very professionally formatted with an embedded image. We've incorporated Microsoft Word as our email editor. You can also see that everything from the email subject to the attachment name to the message body is customizable. We've incorporated the SAP sales order number, the order total, and order date in multiple locations in the message. In addition to sending a single order acknowledgement to the customer in this case, we've also leveraged another APP document delivery feature of report groups. The second email that was generated is a notification to the salesperson on the order, alerting them that the customer's order was received and that their commission will be paid. At this point, I'd like to illustrate something I mentioned earlier, that each email generated creates an activity in the Business One system. If I right-click on the document and select Related Activities, we can look at one of the activities that APP generated. The subject of the email sent is listed in the Activity Remarks. The complete body of the email is in the Extended Text Entry field. The activity is linked to the appropriate sales order, and your email attachments are saved to the activity as well. So at any point, you can double click the activity attachment to view the PDF that was sent with your email. For more information on Third Wave's Advanced Productivity Pack application or any of the other applications that Third Wave offers, please visit our website at www.twbs.com. You can click the Contact Us link in the upper right corner of the page. Existing Third Wave partners and customers can obtain more information through the support portal by clicking the customer support link in the upper right corner of the page. Additionally, we have several other videos on our YouTube channel that highlight different APP features in greater detail. Thank you for your time and attention.